The system is quite stable and playable as long as I'm not bumping any wires. Hi folks, I have some important things to discuss with you. First, I passed the 1000 subscriber mark a little while ago, which is amazing. Thank you for following. I'd like to make you guys happy with my content, and I'd like to grow new subscribers, and I'd like to build a community around this and other projects. I'm at a point now where I'm looking for feedback from you on how to proceed. One of the next major steps in the project will be a teardown, and there are some decisions to make. I'll tear the whole thing down wire by wire and compare it to the schematic. I'll update the schematic as I go to fix any errors. Once completely torn down, I'm going to build it back up from scratch to validate the schematic. Once it's working again on breadboards, I'll design the PCB in KiCad and then send to JLC PCB or PCBWay or maybe someone new. Since I'm going to be doing this anyway, I'm wondering if there is any interest in me recording the teardown and the subsequent rebuild. I figure I could break down the rebuild into a series of longer form videos for each subsystem and discuss each system and how it works while I'm rebuilding it. Would you prefer shorter status videos or longer form, more detailed videos? Both? Neither? Once I produce PCBs and test, any interest from folks out there in building one? Any interest in following along on breadboards? Okay, now teardown is a major step. We have some decisions to make. I currently don't support low-res graphics. The Apple II graphics are implemented in a PLD. I could break that out into 74 series logic while implementing support for low-res graphics. That would make it a bit more pure. 3 rick is unique because there are no modern microcontrollers. Joystick support would open up a lot of games. There are, uh, currently there are games that require joystick, many of them, and there are plenty of design considerations there. Keyboard is currently uh, a decoded PS2 signal. Compat is pretty good right now, but I could use a Commodore 64, Atari, Apple, or other scanning matrix keyboard to improve Compat. Could build a keyboard. Looking for feedback. I could also just focus and tear it down now, finish the project, and move on to something else. Please let me know what you think in the comments and let me know your preferences. I'll consider every comment. Anyway, that's all folks. Have a happy new year and best wishes in 2024.